Hello friends, welcome to Beat Studio. This is Beat Raider. Uh, and in this video, and hopefully other videos I'll do uh, in the near future, we're gonna talk about some of the tools I use in making these you know, ASMR and ambient style videos. Hopefully you'll find that content useful, educational, and things you may be able to use on your own projects. In this video, we're gonna talk about a phenomenal, phenomenal tool called Audio LDM. It's phenomenal. It is open source, so you can see exactly what it uses and how it runs. It uh, has a demo page. Uh, it is free, et cetera, et cetera. It just checks all the boxes. And I actually used Audio LDM. Let me just show you quickly the video I use it on. It's the last video I published. This this Echoes of Eric Gryffindor is on Premiere. It hasn't been released yet, but it's this one called Sahara Dreams, which I open in this tab. And some of the sounds, this is an ASMR about, you know, a Sahara type theme. Some of the sounds are using this audio LDM tool. So phenomenal. Check out this video. You know, I appreciate the thumbs up. Um, we'll let it play in the background. But how audio LDM works, it's basically like Mid Journey or Dali or Stable Diffusion. You write the text prompt, and instead of generating an image, like those tools would, it generates sounds. So anything you can imagine, anything you can write, conjure up, like here, their example is a hammer is hitting a wooden surface, let's hit submit. And it's basically gonna give you a audible, a sound representing your text prompt. Is that phenomenal? And that's exactly what, you know, what I'm doing here. Some of the background sounds uh, are, you know, are using Audio LDM. And I'll, I will use it a lot more. It's the first time I use it in one of my videos, but I will use it a lot more just because I think it's, it's just such a, has so much potential. And we are kind of looking at the, uh, you know, at um, the, the early, early, days of mid journey when there weren't phenomenal tools and it was uh the, and, and the image was so so right this is still early we're going to get to a point where it's phenomenal it'll do phenomenal st things if you have used ai before for music you may have played around with this phenomenal model from open ai they're the same people who gave us uh who are giving us chat gpt and dali a tool called Jukebox. It came out a few years ago. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a demo of a song I made with Jukebox. Unfortunately, Jukebox is, is, is a magical tool as it will create music, entire orchestras, and even lyrics, all generated through AI. It's magic. The promise is really expensive to use. You have to use powerful GPUs, and I stopped using it because I just didn't have the money for it. Here, you have everything. It's free. They're lending you a little GPU to do this, this hammer sound. Okay, it came out. Let's listen to it. Definitely a hammer sound. So let me stop this. So we just hear this one. Let's just do it again. Interesting. So you have a few controls you can play around with. You could change the seed. The seed is basically what ensures you'll always get the same result. So we could do uh, 49. Uh, and you have the duration. We're doing the maximum duration. And one of the advantages of opening this in your own, uh, in Colab, for example, in your own space, which you can do, just go to the project page, you have access to everything, is you could change some of these settings, right? So let's do this again. Let's say, uh, let's change this. Let's go, you know, um, a trumpet playing at sunset. So we're gonna get a trumpet, hopefully, and hopefully, you know, some emotion with the sunset. I hit submit, and it takes, you know, I don't know, 20 seconds, and we get a 10 second snippet of code and I'll show you how to download it. While we're waiting, you have, you know, the links to the paper, the links to a, the abstract, some examples, and also plenty of samples, which is interesting, right? All these, you'll find these links right here on the paper and project page. And uh, I will use this on a lot more videos, a lot more ASMR videos. This has allowed me really to kind of start doing more interesting themes, going beyond the fireplace, beyond the rain sounds, and starting to play with, you know, far away distance, distant places. Keep in mind, some of the sound is limited, right? It's it's as good as it's been trained. It's been trained with this data set called Audio Cap, which I think they were sound samples manually labeled. We have uh, YouTube now made available their own uh, YouTube sounds with the labels, basically description, right? The description for every video, which is a phenomenal data set, right? It's actually scary that they're gonna use all of that to you know g generate sounds, but uh, we'll, we will get more powerful tools than 
what audio cap can yield right now, right? So it's, oh, we're almost there. You can see this gray bar is progressing. Let's wait till it's done. And there it is. So now we have, remember, a trumpet playing at sunset. Let's see. You hit play. Interesting, right? So that's a trumpet playing at sunset. I would run it again. Actually, you know, let's change the seed to a different number. And let's submit again. See if we get a more interesting trumpet. Uh, while we're waiting for this, let me give you a quick listen to what I did with Jukebox. Now, like I said, I don't use Jukebox anymore. It's such a powerful uh, AI. It, you can find it at openai.com, uh, a Jukebox. Uh, the problem is just too expensive to run, right? So um, in my uh, these are my shorts on Beat Studio. Some of my earlier shorts were all made with Jukebox. And this is one that reminded me of Travis Scott. <laughs> Keep in mind the lyrics are uh, bordering unintelligible. They're just they're just made to sound like a human. So the AI is saying, "Okay, you want this kind of you know um, uh, rap with beats? They're, they're gonna generate a fake African American voice, and uh, you know, and 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 the beats of a typical beat you see in rap, and that's what you get, right? So again, it's completely fake. It doesn't make any sense. It's it's um, unintelligible." but it's phenomenal, right? The problem is it takes, to get a few of these uh, five minute samples, it takes over 24 hours on very powerful GPUs. And I just found out it was just too expensive. Okay, let's see, we got a second run here. No, it's still running. We'll give it a few more seconds. There we go. Again, different seeds, still a trumpet playing at sunset. So when you want to download it, right? You click, you right-click on the um, on your created image, and you go save as video. They download them as MP4s. So this is fine. And then you can bring it into your DAW, into your digital audio processor, and you can play it with a MIDI keyboard, or you could use the raw sounds. And this is kind of what I did uh, with the Sahara Dreams. Uh, I didn't transform them using the DAW. I just made I don't know ten different uh, samples around you know beats, around marketplace, around people chanting in the desert, and I added them into this video. So definitely check out the video. All the links are there. The links to the audio L LDM uh, at Hugging Face is also in the description. So you have everything you need. And I rec highly recommend you play with this tool. It's just magic. It's phenomenal. Anyways, big thanks. Uh, if you like these videos, leave some thumbs up. I will uh, see you know the kind of response I get and make more educational videos. I have uh, plenty of other ideas. Uh, I, I love doing generative music. So I did uh, generative uh, music, simple coding with Python to generate you know, interesting music. I did some videos on that. That may be another interesting topic to do next. And, you know, also part of the, you know, using uh, stable diffusion to do these images and even stable diffusions to do the videos. Please check out Audio LDM and have some fun with it. Thanks for watching.